Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Beaker's Lab. Got the second part of the war with Made in Italy today. Uh, we did end up winning 89 to 69 right here, uh, three hours until the end of the war where I uh, took this video here. Not much happened after this, just a couple stars. Um, we were able to two star every base and three star eight bases out of our 40 possible attacks. So. I'm very happy with our performance this war. Um, it, you know, it took us a while to get to a point where we could take on a top clan, especially a, a pushing clan with max bases such as this one. But we did fantastic. Uh, the MVP, I would say, is this guy right here, Harrison. He three-starred two bases, uh, very solid bases, with similar layouts to this one. Not to mention, he doesn't even have max heroes. He doesn't even have close to max heroes. Dude has heroes that are like 20, level 20 something. We'll see here in a minute. Um, it's just great skills, um, great army composition, and uh, he chose the perfect bases for the troop setup he used. So as I talked about in the last video, just a few wall breakers with go wipe a couple witches as well so he's got four golems he's gonna jump right into the core great strategy on a base like this archer queen comes out and you take care of it really early and then just cruise right through so Harrison has been in every clan war with us and hasn't really had time to level up his heroes I would love to see what he could do with level 40 um, he's a good farmer too. I know he will max his heroes and uh, he deserves it after working this hard. The only thing that may stop him from a three star here is those walls. Even though the bottom part is all open, he's still going to have to break a couple walls to get those buildings on the side. And with max walls, it takes a while. Um, but it's going to be close. Looking good. A minute 20 left. He's got a lot of troops left. Pekka's being so slow. Um, they uh, they can't get through walls very fast, but they can take out buildings pretty fast uh, in this open area here. So let's see. A minute left. Only a few buildings left, but they're spread out on each side of the base. That's not good. And that pack on the right is going down. Regardless of what Harrison gets on this, he like I said, he's definitely the MVP. Um, I want to raid like Harrison, man. This is sick. <laughs> I tend to not do go wipe like that with his with as many Pekkas, um, like four. But uh, it's definitely worth trying if you guys haven't tried go wipe. Um, you don't obviously you don't need max heroes. He has uh, level 22 or 24 heroes, and uh, he just is close to three starring a max base here. Uh, I would say. You know, you shouldn't even push unless you have um, tw level 20-something heroes. And you shouldn't even be in a serious clan war unless you're Town Hall 10 with level 20-ish heroes. So, if you are, try out this uh, composition he did here. You're always going to have to adjust it. Oh, and he ran out of time. So look at the composition here. He only had a few wall breakers, but that's because the base didn't need it. So he was able to use more wizards, P.E.K.K.A.s. He also used a heal spell in there because he only needed one freeze. The infernos were close together, so uh, that worked great. Good job, Harrison. Sorry you didn't get the three star, but regardless, that was sick. Here's another near max base. Well, I guess it is max except for a few walls. Um, kind of an unconventional design. I like to attack ones I haven't seen before, such as this. Those are the only bases that really screw up a good attacker. I mean, you know, copying bases, you uh, we're all guilty of it. Sometimes we copy a base, and it is good. But against a good seasoned attacker that's seen that base before, it's never going to be as good as something unique. So... If you don't try to make your own bases once in a while, please try, you know. Uh, it, it's worth it. If you make one that's good, you'll you'll be psyched. I I always am. When I when I make one that wins defenses, uh, I'm real psyched on it. So it's worth a shot. And you don't have that much to lose. I mean, 
try an original base for one clan war or you know a couple days if you're pushing there's not that much to lose you know you, you're gonna lose defenses you're gonna lose some and win some anyway but to see your own creation do it it's uh... it's pretty satisfying so here we go got the two star uh, quite easily but here's a slowing down on these walls and i don't have many troops left alive at this point you kind of need witches alive and uh... golems and pekkas really you gotta have everything alive to keep going around and get the three star you definitely can't have expos still alive he's got two expos still alive and uh... you know an archer queen by herself can't really take those out without getting gunned down first so this is going to be it. I'm going to speed it up here and get through solid raid though. I tend to not quit <laughs> even though I knew I wasn't going to get a three star here. I tend to not quit. I tend to let it ride out and see as far as I can get. You know, just in case. Maybe I was going to get super lucky there, but probably not. Alright, let's see what we got next. We have some more three star hog raids down the line here from uh, other members of the clan we haven't seen yet everybody in my clan can pretty much uh, use most compositions and in wars when we need three stars they tend to bring out hogs like this and uh, I love to see it it's awesome to see three stars and definitely with hogs it's a it's tricky army composition but it's definitely something everybody should know I might do a video of some tips on how to do it but pretty much you can get the gist of it from this uh, lure that CC out and kill it with your CC with a bunch of witches or a golem in front of it like Shlomi did here not too hard um, a few things could go wrong you know but you should be okay. It's definitely worth a try. Now that golem is going to activate the enemy heroes. They're going to come out, meet the troops, and get killed. Now it's time for the hogs. So he's already uh, he got lucky there. There were uh, spawn holes where two big bombs were. See in that right and left compartment. He was able to trip those with a barb in each. That's huge because that would have hurt his hogs uh, pretty bad he would have had to put a heal spell in each of those compartments and he doesn't have that many heal spells so he's already through the multi inferno that's good on uh, the single inferno went down easily heroes are looking good he's still got hogs left this is definitely a three star and he's got a minute left rounding around last bomb I think is exploded I always like to count those little explosions you can see on the ground. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, he's taking them all out. Spring traps can definitely be a pain in the ass to hogs because they can take out three at once. And he's hitting them all, but he's got enough left. He can do this. One hog went to the middle on the town hall to get started on it. That's good. Time can definitely be a problem with hogs. If they split up a little bit, it helps. Uh, to get started on some of these bigger buildings, I used hogs a lot as a Town Hall 9 uh, for farming actually. Once I finished uh, maxing my heroes at level 30, I did walls with a, a barb archer and hog rider combo. Um, I might try to do uh, a brief video about it, but it's not as easy to do anymore. Um, a lot harder to use like 15 hogs and 3 star base but um, I got used to you know the ins and outs of hogs and realized that uh, a lot of times you will run out of time and once all the defenses are down if your hogs split up and you have a couple wizards left and your heroes left you've got a good chance of 3 starring here we go Anmal great attacker uh, he's he was recently on a, a trophy push. He did really well. I want to congratulate him on that. I know he sort of topped out. I think it was around 37 or 3800, but he did really well. Um, for a guy who's just been farming his whole Clash career, he uh, he really came out well. Proud of him. He was doing a 
mostly uh, a go wipe. Um, well, go, go wee wee go wipe. A uh, little cross between the two. But here he's doing hogs. Like I was saying, trying to everyone's trying to mix it up. So great start, just like Shalomi's raid in the last video. Uh, freezing the multi inferno. Not going to worry about the single. Probably just send a rage in to get through it faster. I'm not sure. So his hugs split up a little bit. Usually when they split up, the the smaller group will die off unless you put a heal spell on him. But that's okay. He has one more heal. He's going to heal on the left there. And then just a few defenses on the top. So he put the BK down. That's good. He waited a little while. Uh, he didn't need to put his Barbarian King down early because he wasn't being activated by anything. Put it down late there as the Hogs were starting to come around to the top. Barb King will help out, uh, take out a few defenses, a few buildings, and that's the last defense right there. So he's looking good. Got a minute left. He's got this. So I've been trying to make a wide variety of videos, uh, some pushing, some clan wars, some farming. Uh, but they're all high level, you know, Town Hall 10, end game stuff. Um, it's not exactly a let's play type of, you know, let's play type of videos I'm making because I don't have anything to upgrade. It's kind of at a standstill. I'm just doing walls. So I'm thinking, if you guys would enjoy watching it, I have several other accounts that are uh, lower level. So right now I have a Town Hall 8 that I'm I'm sort of trying to max out. It's a, uh, it's a, I don't know. It's about halfway there. I got to do a lot of walls and uh, upgrade the Barbarian King. So I was thinking about doing a let's play on that. If you guys would watch it, um, probably gonna do just you know how to farm gold and DE at uh, Town Hall Eight and how to max. I'm gonna um, focus on you know the reasons behind maxing out everything at your Town Hall. You know, a lot of you guys uh, that clash with me, you learn from early on that uh, it's best to max out, and, you know, most of us did. Some of us didn't, but in the end, we all know that it pays off. You know, being a premature town hall bites you in the ass in the end. It's easier at a lower town hall. You don't have a loot penalty. So, I'm hoping I can, you know, make some of those videos help some people that are maybe Town Hall 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, get into that habit of, you know, getting all their builders, keeping their builders busy, and uh, learning how to farm efficiently. High gold per hour, you know, stuff like that. So look for that soon. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Congrats to my clan for the awesome win. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you